Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I, I, that's like in the picture, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I had to sort of check whether I was still alive. Um, thanks so much, though. I'd forgotten like most of that stuff. Um, so I'm just going to read from lots of this today. Uh, and you have to, like, basically, in my, when I was sort of thinking about what I might do today, I, I brought lobsters, because it's like my most recent thing. And then I was going to read some poems from Love Minus Love, maybe. Um, but what happened was I forgot to bring Love Minus Love. In fact, I brought the other book instead called Alarum, and they've got very similar covers, and that's why. So I kind of, <coughs> you'll forgive me, hopefully, I'll just crack on and read lobsters. So this is like one long thing. And uh, hopefully, I don't know, that sometimes is a bad thing, isn't it? Sometimes people are like, wow, it's like one long thing. It was so well sustained and hypnotic. And other times, you look out and you think, everyone just wants me to shut up and make a joke now. <laughs> you know, like that kind of, you know, everyone appreciates a little bit of banter in between poems. You're not going to get that from me today. <laughs> Sorry about that, because I've ruined your Saturday. <laughs> but, and also, you can feel free to zone in and out, you know, like I'm used to it when I'm talking to my kid or whatever, I can tell that they're not listening a lot of times, so like, that's fine. Um, but the, the, I guess the, sorry for wearing these glasses, so I can't get used to it. Um, <clears throat> I haven't read this for like a year, nearly, yeah, a year, so I might, uh, you know, fuck it up or whatever. Um, but also, uh, there's no work for you lot to do, like, it's not a puzzle or anything. Um, I'm just, uh, maybe encourage people to think of it as an experience if that's what you're into. Uh, otherwise, just, you know, grin and bear it. Claire uh, Pollard, if you're on in the second half. Um, okay, so this is lobsters. Singing. I miss everything about my life. Three sticks of lipstick. I ate four buttons. I ate the smoke from her red jacket. A custard pot so full of rage it torched my tiny childhood. A heart beating against the four pillars of the room, fresh from the microwave. We had discovered pain was dielectric and lumpy, tipped into the body from the outside. Oh Lord, did anyone ask for this type of touch? Cymbal crash, mandolin, my heart, my body is a group of sudden musicians striking up a tune of longing. They don't notice our acts as living things becoming objects. The radio is getting hammered now, I am singing myself into dead stuff. I ate the shadows, now the shadows are retreating. Imagination is a malady. This is the last time about which I will write, about which you're leaving. One life may hide another, now she is gone, and here I am. Like sellotape, trying to hold a river in place. A soft tuba, three perfect violins, I'm sorry we existed like this. You woke up and were suddenly healed. To talk about the original hunger was impossible. Your hair screwed in tight, your scalp fixed to the bone, your mind banged down with all this love. We source our understanding of the world from our own bodies. Strings eking out a little more emotion at this point. A voice, two voices singing. How did we get down here among the potato peelings? We hold ceremonially our fingers when I love you suddenly rings false when I'm full of doubts, hides, I'm certain about something. One of us said, I am made of hotness. One of us said, and this is heartbreaking. An antibacterial wipe in the dog bowl. I ate her hairspray. I ate all of the emotional music. I ate Monster Munch right along the way to my 30s. And we arrived, knowing the whole world is happening beneath us. We're just not allowed to have much of it. It's so full on. Hot soup, broccoli in the pot, clever water. I wanted to place a good moment on my tongue, hold several deeds close to my skin again. I wanted to tell you something beautiful, so I did. To be a person, I must outgrow my own shrinking. I ate my own trainers, I ate piano music, then a lovely little silence into which you emerged like spilling water. My mouth slow and sad rocking, the song at the bottom of everything I wanted only to be useful. To shout out the window at night time, is everyone okay? And for the world to shout back. Out the window at night time, a scurry of gerbils, a street party, 
inside the window, a creeping history of the blood outside, foxes biting the nighttime rotten inside, you were gone, walking from one room to another. Out the window I literally shouted your name. Is everyone okay? Silence. I ate the silence, then a slow double bass starting up. One of us said, we have to pay the mind back. And sticking bits of damp hair on my head with spoonfuls of honey, I received word the Debenhams in Swindon had closed, the chip shop in Swindon had closed, the libraries in Swindon on fire. My childhood was shutting off its nights. Three dull drum beats. It feels as if I'm about to be born again, but can't, alone and into the present tense. If there is a God out there, O oh, wafers of Christ, I am listening. At the bottom of everything is our drunk parents. At the bottom of everything is stained furniture. At the bottom of everything, behold, he comes riding on a cloud. His muscular temper and noise under the lights of the kitchen. At the bottom of everything is onions. At the back of my throat, even then, singing, look. I love you. I said, I just need a use for this body and its music. A destination for people to arrive at, putting on a clean smelling shirt, stepping each leg through cotton trousers and walking out the door frame lit up and smashed to bits by the morning, snowing your hair, snowing my eyes. And yeah, one of us said, here are some trees. <clears throat> At the bottom of everything is we are grown ups and escape ease, fireworks in the beard of God. I ate a tiny freckle, a little piece of childhood. Hallelujah, I have the exact same amount of mother I always had. One of us said, I got touched in the bath and it gave me an eating disorder. One of us said, the earth will swallow us up and it would give me an illness. And we spoke about the dead so much the house came down. A lit match then. The sound of several lit matches burning. The mornings of the last fine days were the freshest, most limpid. The apples are still being ignored. The crickets are screaming bloody Tuesday and the sky is everywhere. You don't seem to be happy, one of us said. Oh yes, I am happy, but I am sad. The earth will swallow us, but not yet. I ate all the camera angles when they circled and it was just me in the middle of a road with a lolly stick. From the other side of the long city, your face appeared inside my pocket, an accordion sliding through my body. In one dream, everyone I've ever known, O oh Lord, was holding my wrists and feet, sleeves and backside, so many hands on my body thrown up, then caught. And again, my stomach through the air, my chemo receptor was butterscotch in the blood, so much love stuffed with vanilla salt. My inner ear was corn syrup, my throat filling with alkaline and treacle. Thank you. I'm soft cracked and laughing myself hoarse, thinking about it, singing, look, I love you. The kindness in me is welling as if I were laying a hard boiled egg. One of us said, eventually, we have to pay the mind back continuous and slow good pain, chopping up my fringe, family I had to step over drunk to leave, look, I love you, sliding from the sofa, grey carpet growing over my limbs while all of the shouting keeps going, I've locked their names behind my jaw. One of us said, let the dead bury their own dead, but what are we supposed to do with this massive shovel? I dug holes in the carpet, we can sit down later and cry. Remember how much fun it was watching our fathers bang their gums on the enamoured sink? Not much. I'm so frantic to shrug off this inheritance, but why am I running these molars around my palm like a beaded necklace? Am I still carrying so much of this swindon? A walloping inside the guts like a child hid inside a cutlery drawer. But, okay, wow, you're freckled. One voice, two voices singing. We kicked our feelings so far out in front of us. Every so often we found one, wrestled it backwards, chased it with a stick, pinned one to the carpet of our childhoods, it's true. We made several graves for the ones who were missing. When our mothers rang on Sundays, we put the phones in the ground next to the emptiness and grinned till we became finished. At the end of the ringtones, a kiss vanishing along with its two constituent parts. You did something with your hands to something in my chest, silence. Eventually, we have to pay the mind back. 
What do you do when you have no positive place to land on? When the only possibility of love in this present tense is a karate kick, one good handstand, collecting things as I go, I ate the way you smoked a cigarette. I've eaten several friendships like that until there is nothing. Solo, tears sliding down my isolated chin, a door clicked shut. Outside the window, our feelings on the monkey bars, our feelings on the playground, on swings, building sandcastles in the sand pit. Inside the window, my open shirt, the open fridge. Outside the window, the back of you, please turn around. A dog is chasing an empty crisp packet. Inside the window, one toothbrush, a half-finished shoe wrap. I'm sorry we existed like this. From a place beneath the earth, your phone, not mine, is ringing. Thank you very much.